Our next step with our moving block is going to be to reset the camera. Now there's two circumstances under which we're going to do this. One is when the block is finished moving and we need to pass control back over to the player. And the other one is when the player walks up to the block and then suddenly decides, you know what, I didn't want to move the block yet, and they tap the escape key, which is already established in our UI scene. We're actually overriding the main function of the escape key so that we can use that as a way to give control back over to the player. So let's start off over here inside of Kismet. And we've already got this set move status. Let's go ahead and put that inside its own comment. So we'll tap C. We'll say moving block status. And we'll just leave that here next to our block movement. Now down underneath this, we're going to create a new sequence. So deselect everything, right click, and we'll create a new sequence, which we're going to call reset camera. So in short, we're going to basically build our own node that will handle this for us. So let's double click this to open it up. And the first thing we're going to do is create a sequence activated event. And we'll give this an input label of reset camera. Now, next to this, we're going to add a delay action because this is not something that's going to be instantaneous all the time. When we pass our control back over to the player, we want there to be a delay. If the player just hits escape, then we want it to be instantaneous. And the way we're going to set this up, we'll be able to vary the amount of the delay. So let's right click, go to new action, miscellaneous, and bring in a delay. We'll plug this into the start. Now for the duration, we're going to create an external variable that will reach outside the sequence. Now let's set the label on this variable to delay amount. Now we need to select our main camera that we have in our level. So I'll close Kismet for a moment. And up here in the sky, we actually have our main camera. So let's go back into Kismet and come in here to our uh, reset camera sequence. Now we're going to create a new matinee here. Now this is very similar to how we set up the initial control that handed everything over to our block camera in the first place. So let's just do a new matinee. We'll open this up. Right click and create a new empty group which we'll just call camera. Immediately we'll add a director group. and then make sure that we just add a keyframe here at the very beginning that takes us to camera. Now we're going to pull the overall time of our matinee back to two and a half seconds, right click on our camera keyframe and set the transition time to two seconds. So it's going to blend our camera back to its original position. Okay, now we're done with matinee at this point, so we can go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and take the finish of our delay and we'll plug that into play. Now, we're going to create a toggle input action to give control back to the player, because earlier we took it away when they uh, called up their UI. So let's right-click, go to New Action, Toggle, and Toggle Input. And Completed, we'll now switch over to Turn On. Now, we need to specify the player once again, so we'll right-click, go to New Variable, Player, and choose a player variable. Make sure that we switch off all players and plug that in. Okay, now we're going to set the camera target back over to the player. So let's right click and go to camera. Set camera target, which will plug the output of our toggle input to the end of our set camera. And the target will be player zero. So we can just plug that in there. And then we're going to need an object variable for the actual camera. So let's right click and come to new object var using camera actor zero and we can plug that in like so. Now let's jump out to the main level sequence. So way out here, so we've got our nice node set up, it's ready to accept an event and some sort of a delay amount. So we're going to create a brand new remote event, which we'll simply call reset camera. We'll plug the output of our event into the input of our sequence here. Now next, we're going to have to set up a variable to control how much of a delay there is. 
So what I'm going to do right after this, actually, let's insert this right in between. We don't immediately want to call reset camera. First off, we're going to establish how much of a delay there is. So let's right click, go to new action, set variable, and we'll set a new float. So this is what we'll actually plug in. And because we want this to be a varying value, we're going to make use of our global variables once again. So let's fly out here, come back over to our global variables list, and we're going to create a brand new global variable of type float. And we're going to give this a variable name of camera, I get the tooltip out of the way, reset delay. Get that position. Let me take our comment block and expand that out a little bit so we're nice and neat. Now we want a named variable that references this, so we'll right click, create a new variable. This will be a named variable. And this will be camera reset delay. Now we just need to feed this some sort of a value. So this event is what's going to happen when the player has successfully moved the block. In fact, we see that here. They move the block, we set the status of the block, and then we call on reset camera. So we want this to have a nice, kind of a, a soft delay. So for this first one, we're going to set the value to 2. And of course, all I did there was create a brand new float variable. So that we're now assigning our camera reset delay to 2. Now all we have to do is take this delay amount and connect this to our reset delay. So now we're calling on reset camera with a nice 2 second delay. Now, we have another circumstance under which we're going to reset the camera as well, and that's if the player hits the escape key. And we called that reset camera from UI. So if we back out, in fact, this was actually inside our uh, UI scene. So if we close out of here, let me show that to you. So we have UI block move. If we open this up and go to our Unreal Kismet editor, I'm just right clicking out here in empty space and go into the focus scene, you'll see that we are overriding the escape key and we need to make sure that that's connected to an activate level event. And you'll notice that the event name is reset camera from UI. So let's close this, we'll close this out. Let's jump back in here into Kismet. We'll create a brand new remote event, which we'll call Reset camera from UI, which is just what's going to happen if we hit the escape key. Now, what I'm going to do is grab, oh, excuse me, we're going to grab all of these nodes and hit Control C, Control V, and just paste them in, connect them up like so. And for this one, we're going to set the delay to zero. So there is not going to be any delay if the player hits the escape key. And really, with that, we're done. Uh, we could go ahead and set these up as some comments so let's go ahead and just grab this area and reset camera upon uh, completion and then reset camera from escape key all right so now let's jump into our level and we walk up to the block, it takes over our camera, let's slide the block, block moves, and control goes back over to the player. Now that spinning camera thing, there's not much we can do about that with this particular setup. It's just how the rotation blend is going from one camera to the next. Now let's go ahead and try out what happens if we hit escape. So if we hit escape now, and it looks like our event isn't being called, so I need to double check and make sure I understand what's going on here. Let's double check, start off by looking at the name of our block move event, so I make sure I have that name right. So let's go back into the Unreal Kismet editor, I'll go down to the focus state, and oh, that didn't actually remain connected, so I need to make sure that gets connected. Close this, and let's save our package before we do anything else. So I'm just going to select our package and hit Control S. Now you probably won't have to do this on your end, but it's a good thing to check either way. So let's right click, double check one more time, and there we go. So now we have a connection. And we don't need to close that, so let's cancel. And let's try this one more time. 
Boom. Now let's tap escape. And it gives us control back. So now we can move again. And now we can move the block out of the way. And there we go. So now we've got our moving block taken care of, and that is going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.